What's going on, people? Man, we're back here with another video. Man, today we're we'll doing a comparison video. Well, actually, a versus video. The Elgato HD60 versus the Elgato HD60S. Which game capture should you guys get if you guys want to start in the gaming YouTube community? Now, before I say anything else, please know your specs to your PC because if you don't and you pick one of these capture cards and you don't meet the system requirements, you're going to be really pissed off. So, please know your specs. If you do not know it, go to your um, Windows, go to System, go to About. I'll probably say that backwards, but go to system, go to about at the bottom. It should say uh, uh, device specifications or something like that, and you will know your um, specs from there. I will also link Elgato's website in the description box down below, and I also will provide screenshots for the Elgato Game Catcher 60. I mean, <coughs> Elgato uh, Game Catcher HD 60 and it's 60S as well. So let's get started now. First things first, these two capture cards are legit the exact same fucking thing. Well, I mean, the exact same fucking thing. The only thing different is really three things. One is the name. One is the uh, delay, which is low uh, low latency uh, for the Elgato HD60S. It has no lag. The HD60 do have a lag. And also is the port for both of these uh, capture cards. The Elgato HD60 have a 2.0. HD60S has the uh, 3.0. Now, if your laptop, which you guys are not not 90%, you guys have laptops and want to get these. Make sure your laptop has a, a USB 3.0. If you don't, you cannot get this capture card. It will not work for you. Trust me. You don't want to be pissed off by that. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and actually talk about it. Now, with the Elgato HD60, I owned it. Now, I did it in January. I got it around January of 2017. We're now about to be in 2019. So, it might be almost two years since I uh, got doing my capture card. So, my experience with it was it was very, it was a delay. Like a five second delay. Now, I didn't stream at the time because my internet wasn't strong enough to stream. Like I was saying earlier, that was also a, like a five second delay or four to three. So I will provide a picture right now of my Uncharted 4 multiplayer gameplay, what I did in January 6th. You guys go check that out. Link will be in the description box down below. You guys can determine whether or not it has a delay or not. I can't because it looks perfectly fine to me, but I'm just retarded sometimes. So you got to make that decision for yourself. But going moving forward, there is like a second delay. So you may have to sync your audio and your webcam up which is to match your gameplay. That can be a pain in the ass, which also is another alternative is you can also use OBS or possibly XSplit to capture gameplay, which I'm using now. I'm currently using OBS. I'm not fucking with that Elgato software right now. Now, moving on to the HD60S, like I said earlier, it is legit the exact same thing. The only difference is you is no delay at all. Live streaming and recording. Now, the HD60S is usually meant for, I can't say streamers, but it was mostly meant for to minimize that delay. Like I said, no lag, no nothing. You can play from your monitor or laptop. Now, I recommend getting this if you're going to travel and you don't have a monitor or a TV. You can just plug it in like, like a Nintendo Switch and just play it straight from there and you'll be perfectly fine. Now, that's really it. Actually, there's a comparison. It's really the delay, the USB port, and the system requirements. Now, which one do I personally recommend? Now, me personally, um, I will go with the Elgato AC60S so it can uh, not have that delay. But there is the Game Catcher HD, uh, Game Catcher Pro. I mean, not the Game Catcher Pro, uh, Elgato Game Capture HD, which was initially released around the P like around PS3, PS4 era. But the only difference is that it records in 1080p 30fps, 720p 60fps, and 720p 30fps. You cannot do 1080p 60fps, which is pretty much of a bummer. Now, this is good high quality. The, the, all I think these two record at uh, 40 megabits per second. The game capture uh, 60 Pro is 60 megabits per second. So that's something that you might want to look into if you have a desktop. But... Overall, I will go with the Elgato HD60S because it's also cheaper right now on Amazon, which is like around 129 123 But the only issue I'm finding right now is that on Amazon, Best Buy, or whatever, the uh, Game Capture HD60 is not on the website at, at all. I do not know why. you um, type, I will provide a link because I found one from like an older video from somebody else talking about the uh, Game Capture HD60. So you can try that link, you probably get it used. Now, if you don't want to get it from there, you can try it out, like I mentioned before, like in one of my videos, um, a card and offer up. It sells, that's, I bought one of my capture cards from this app, which is the Game Capture HD60. I paid like $80 for it, so that all depends on what you guys want to do. So if you can't get it from Amazon or whatever, get it from offer up or Macari. But my recommendation, get the HD60S, less delay, less of a hassle, but for some reason for me, my webcam is just fucking lagging, so that's why I'm using OBS right now, using their um, Shadow Play with a flashback recording. But hopefully, I helped you guys make a decision on which one to get. Um, 
I plan on doing a giveaway pretty soon with that if I do eventually get the uh, 4K 60 Pro. And we'll just go from there. Hope you guys have a blessed day. See y'all later. I'm out. Peace.